made a little bit of a mistake. If this is the last video you ever see of us, my fault. Good morning. Good morning. So this is our lovely place that we're staying at. Chalet Elsa. Elsa. So this is our first day in Lauterbrunnen. We are gonna go get some food. I think it's about a 10 minute walk to town. We're just outside the town towards Interlaken. And I think we're gonna go on a hike today. Yeah. We're going up to Wengen. There's a couple of towns kind of around the area. You have to take a tram or train everywhere. We're excited. We saw that this walk looked um, like a, not too much of an incline, not too much of an incline. I would rate it as moderate to advance so far. We just trekked up a mountain. Easy hike my ass. Carbon. Hold a hundred dollar bill. <laughs> Back down where we came from. <laughs> Not too much of an incline because I don't really like heights too As much you know. and whatnot. Yeah. <laughs> and so uh, we'll let you know like the effort level on it and everything. And uh, yeah. now we're gonna go get some breakfast first. So. And then we'll see you on the mountain. Okay. Bye. Doing the tra a trail called North Face Trail. It's up in Murin, so it starts way up there, but you have to take a tram. But I think it's a two and a half hour hike on the North Face Trail, and it's a, a loop, not too much elevation. This is the start of it. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so this is how. Thank you. <laughs> Off to a terrible start. Just squeeze. All right, so this is the beginning of the North Face Trail. You have to take two different trams up here. As you saw, we were packed in like sardines. But everyone's trying to go to the top. I think there's Schilthorn top, I don't know. So we got off kind of halfway in Murin. It's a town that overlooks. I think you can only get to it by the cable car. Um, so it's a two and a half hour hike. We're gonna go up around this cliff and all the way back down. It's kind of like a loop. Already the views are incredible. There's a waterfall at every turn you look at. And it's May, so all the snow's melting. And it's just creating all these waterfalls along the edge of here. It's beautiful. The first part of the North Face Trail is in the sun and it's like straight up. Finally leveled off and we have some shade. From what we read, this was an easy hike, so I can't imagine what the moderate or a challenge hikes are. And I feel we found our prettiest spot on the trail so far. Look at that. I think this is heaven on earth. Yeah. Flowers with the snow. Like Birds are singing. Yeah. Another cool thing about the trail is we've seen one other person in the entire time. This is probably half hour into it if you're going clockwise. Yeah. We're like right in the middle of like mountain range. It said easy, but we've been walking straight up a mountain for quite a while. I'm hoping once we get to this top gonna level out but I guess we don't have a choice because we're kind of stuck out here regardless if you're gonna do this hike I would rate it as moderate to advance so far I'm hoping once we get up to the top it's gonna be smooth sailing from there and I'm also hoping for a restaurant with a, maybe a nice cold beer Heather's doing amazing she's actually kicking my ass right now 
I'm stalling, pretending I'm videoing, but I'm really just trying to take a break. We just trekked up a mountain. Easy hike my ass. We came around that valley right there, worked our way through that valley, we hit that building, and then we worked all the way up this mountain. Gosh. <laughs> I have a bone to pick with whoever wrote this article saying it was easy. We have finally reached flat land. Look at this. When we looked at the hike, a lot of the elevation gain was the first half, and then it kind of levels off. I can see why, because we're basically at the top. Another cool thing about coming in May is a lot of the snow's melting. So every little crevice in these mountainsides, you can see little waterfalls. in trouble here. I have my wool shoes. There's only one way. <laughs> Whoops. All right, I'm going. I wasn't really prepared. So if you're going to come on the trail, make sure you actually bring hiking shoes. Maybe water resistant. We're going to go that way. Piggyback? Yeah, you carry me. I'm going to let her go first. Yeah, it's not Pack down the snow. Okay, we're good. I trust you. Okay, Just had to put the camera away. The little snow packed area. It's a little dangerous, but you open up to another valley that we have to traverse. <laughs> so this is the valley. I think we're gonna walk down here. I think I we see our final destination right up there. There's a funicular. So the end is near. Uh, what's really cool is the, uh, you probably can't hear it, but uh, there's a giant waterfall right there. Oh, this melted snow is coming down right in that river. It's pretty easy, they marked the trail pretty good. There's a whole bunch of different trails. We're almost there, about 25 minutes away. But we're almost there, we can see it. There's one little hill, but Wait, this hill is gonna be to easy. Wait, we go all the way up there? Yeah. <laughs> this is not working here. <laughs> now that we're we probably, we, we did. Catfish. But we're about 85% of the way, I'd say. Now I can confidently say this is a moderate uh, to advanced trail in terms of just endurance and elevation gain. Then again, I don't hike every day. I would've done the trail the other way. I would've started up here and uh, literally went down the mountain. Yeah, she said clockwise though. I'm pretty yeah, sure we well, went clockwise. I think maybe she didn't know what she's talking about. Either way, we, already... we are from Florida. She's false. And we're not used to the elevation as well, so we're working on probably half oxygen. I guess this little stream, all oh, that snow coming from way up there. We're almost done with the North Space Trail. I would say the views are incredible. Just be prepared, stretch, bring water, bring food. We had no food. Um, and then, I, you can't beat the views though. I, I've definitely never been on a hike with the, the views like we've seen. One kind of dangerous part of the hike, I guess it's still a little snow packed, but there's an area, I'm gonna zoom in so you can see it. Way, uh, yeah, right there. So you ended up coming over that mountainside, then you have to kind of cross that snowpack, and there's no way but through it. So you just have to rely that the tracks aren't too slippery. Yes, just lean against the mountain, work your way across, and then eventually come down this. All right, so, made a little bit of a mistake. But I figured the funicular would have been open, but it was my fault, I didn't check it. So we walked all the way up, we walked down this valley and you saw us, we walked all the way up that way, up to the funicular, only to realize it's closed for construction until June. So now, we have to go back down the valley, back down where we came from. Well, what turned out to start off as an easy hike has turned into a challenge. Car bear. Hold that hundred dollar bill. But Heather's taking it like a champ. She had a chance to throw a snowball at me, and she didn't. If this is the last video you ever see of us, it's my fault. It could be worse. It could be raining, but we got the sun out, a nice cool breeze, rather than taking a nice scenic tram down the mountain. We have to take our legs. So we could have another five hours. Check if the Amandal tram, if the Amandal tram is open. That's probably why there's no one on the trail. We're wondering why they have the trail to ourselves, because there's no way down, but walking. Check 
the timetable to see if there's no construction with the tram. Otherwise, you're gonna have to enjoy this view twice. It's a beautiful view, at least. Cause I find my way. Finally, see civilization. We made it. Finally made it to the town of Murin. It's, yeah, it's a pretty neat little mountain town, a bunch of little cottages and chalets. But our train is finally up ahead. We're gonna get a cold one. I found my way. I was in the dark against it all, but made it through the day. Cause I found my way. I found my way. So we made it back to our chalet Elsa here in Lauterbrunnen. We survived, and Heather did great. I'm super proud of her. I will take full responsibility for the missed uh, tram because apparently it's been out of commission for a couple of weeks and it's not even been open until a month and a half. So the extra two and a half, three miles were on me. But either way, we got a good hike out of it and now we're gonna just uh, take it easy for the night, have some beers, and then we're gonna see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to the top of Europe. And what that is, I have no idea, but we're going to it. And there's gonna be less walking, so we'll be more excited and we'll show you tomorrow. All right, bye. Okay, cause I found my way.